All right, so I would want to see Benson go to something like Dragon City. Like kind of a little off-brand pick, maybe. And then I want to see Derp go to maybe like Mansion. Because Derp was, we saw Derp like run house on Mansion earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying earlier that Derp is just maybe the best player in the world at Mansion right now. Although Benson no slouch. Benson's pretty good too. Definitely no slouch. And it definitely has some of the elements that Benson can benefit from, the kind of some of the randomness of the routes, because there's a couple of things you can do in a couple of places that are a little bit iffy. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, although I would say that Dirt being just a, a front runner, how he is, is uh, maybe maybe a, a bit more of an advantage than Benson has. I think they'd probably want to avoid Mansion if I was them. Just a lot of uncertainty around that map in general. That's interesting. I didn't know about that one. Because if, if, if I was in either of these players' positions and I thought there was even a chance that they'd be oh, on it. Mansion or Speed City Knights. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Oh, so Mansion's been... So they're going to Speed City Knights? Yep. Oh, very interesting. Oh, damn. All right. I, think, I, I would think expect that, him to warm up on an official. All right. I think, I, think that was the, I think that was the smart play for Benson, given the two there, like Redek just mentioned. Like, Mansion's a little bit of an unknown, and then you got Speed City Knights where, like, you can kind of go... You can kind of go a little bit creative, at least at times. Yeah. Well, I mean, Benson is also one of these people that really, really focuses on Speed City Knights. Um, one of the people who really focuses on uh on like grapple yeah grapple most mechanics players and starting like off that. very strong yeah as, as me just mentioned benson go with those grapples like derp also just to note has had pretty much flawless grapples this entire tournament so benson being able to keep up and then surpass him there just is a testament to how like how much he may probably practices that bottom section oh my goodness derp actually went for the the 90 and tried to box benson in the slope route that is so oh, smart oh man it didn't quite work out for him, but I, I respect the option, and if it had, that would have been the sickest play. Yeah, I, I mean, literally can't argue with that. Oh, and a great ball there. Both these players... What we're oh. seeing now, actually, is is the the battle of the items, because these two players are incredibly proficient with items. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like, if, if we'd have had a if we'd have had a Meepy Bat for Grand Finals, we would have definitely seen an endurance match, but these two players are very explosive with items. I think, yeah, I don't think there's time... a clear way to say who's better with items because they both just pop off with items. Yeah, it's also they're good with different items, right? So Benson, oh. traditionally fantastic with ice beams, pretty good with rockets, definitely an, a pretty good bomb and box user. His shockwaves maybe a little bit lackluster. You got Derp on the other hand, definitely good with balls. He's definitely got some bomb strategies up there. His rockets were doing pretty well. I think he was getting a good amount of snipes. Yeah, I mean you're exactly right there. Benson also a little bit better with the hook, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Ben Ben Benson's pretty weight. I think Benson's one of the few people who uses the hook in a very um in a very unconventional way. He doesn't just use it simply to block you off. He'll use it specifically to hit you, but to hit you in places you're not expecting. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 hard to elaborate any more than that because you've really said it better than I can myself. It's like. For instance, Benson will hit you on like a grapple section, or not even a grapple, a wall climb section. And you're like, oh, well, this doesn't even affect me. But then, because he hit you with the grapple, you have no speed, and suddenly you're in the middle of two walls with no boost. Yeah. What do you do? You just fall. Okay, that's very odd. Hey, so uh, guys, uh, the Speed City background for you guys is it blue or like a teal green? It's blue. Uh, it's blue. That's odd. On my phone, it's like a different color. Your screen well, might have gone into uh... a different color. That bomb actually had multi-purpose there. Not only did it hit Derp, it also triggered that route you saw them just take. Oh man, I don't know whether you just oh! saw that interaction. That was crazy. Ooh. That was super tight on Derp's part. He was like, oh, he dropped the box here. Let me impulse hit the drill to not yeah, get affected. Yeah, the, the reaction time from Derpiculus to be able to just react to that in time was insane. That was... I don't know. I, I, think, the drill, I think the drill Ooh, actually did hurt him in the long run. So that's un it was unfortunate, but... It was some crazy reactions. All right. All right. So, uh, Benson went, coming away with that neutral win definitely benefited him in the end of the Speed City Knights pick. <laughs> I feel like Derp will definitely go for an official here, like Mansion. Yeah, he's already hovering over it. <laughs> yeah, 
Interesting. Void. <laughs> Void? That was probably the most, the most so sure unexpected map. Oh god. I'm not so sure about this one, Chief. <laughs> I mean, all right, I'll give him a, the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's maybe Derp's got some hella fast, some hella nice strats here, but I know Benson can run this map very well as well, and it's definitely item heavy. I mean, I would say, Dude, if you wanted to play item spam, sorry, we keep doing that. I mean, it's no problem, really. I was just gonna say that, uh, really, this this map, uh, on second thoughts, benefits Derp quite quite drastically because Derp is definitely the faster of the two, and Random Workshop in general is much faster, but Void in particular benefits consistency and speed so we'll see whether Benson I don't know I think can, Derp, can keep up really I think Dirt modified his route there actually because he couldn't see he took that top boost route very easy and consistent and it's barely any slower anyways yeah I mean just just smart plays really Ooh. from from Depiculus right now yeah that was good Benson tried to mess with him with that uh the grapple the golden grapple there and he just wasn't having any of it Oh, they're hitting that so precise. He hit that. He hit that turn. That grapple. To oh wow! Control. Derf knew he was gonna shoot the bombs. So he went back real quick and went forward again. That was nice. Benson barely missing Derp with that that rocket. Derp living on borrowed time. Oh, and a nice bomb there from Benson, opening the gate from uh, from the below, the like the bottom route, so he didn't even have to go up there. Completely Ooh. removed removed the struggle from that part of the the map. That was such a smart um, shockwave from Benson, but it just didn't matter. Rip was ready to ready to go. Yeah, I oh. mean these players literally always ready yeah. for most things. It's so hard to catch either of these guys out. But as I say so that, I so actually I think that, that you saw that shock. I don't know if you guys saw that shockwave from Benson that looked like he kind of was at nothing. I think he actually was trying to be the biggest brain person I've ever seen. I think he was trying to block the grapple, like the in the, the you know, like the in. Oh damn. Oh, well. Unf that was an unfortunate interaction there. I think he got hit by two balls. Anyways, Benson was trying to shoot a shockwave straight forward to block the indent that has the grapple when you're falling down on the far left side of Void. Yeah, I think he hit the slope just a little too early, so the grapple, so the pulse actually went diagonally up. Mm. But no, I, I mean, if he I had landed it, it could have been insane. It could have been the whole game could have changed right there if he just managed to if that if that hadn't been an unfortunate mistake. Yeah. So we're seeing here back to back to uh, the laboratory. Benson's basically signature map at this point. Oh yeah, he doesn't lose here often. Anytime he picks it, he has a pretty strong advantage. Except against uh, didn't he lose to Redis on this map earlier? Or Trip? Potentially, I'm pretty sure he might have also had some trouble against Meepy with that. In the first set, they played in winners. Hey, he still won, though. I'm just saying. This man loves this map. We're seeing just a huge difference here in the in the amount of booster cook that Benson has compared to Depiculus. It's just going to be a. I mean, you can see now in just the just the running sections that Benson oh, is like just a lot faster right now. Benson just like went forward, and it was better. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Ooh, the shockwave. One of the few times where you can actually just be like, you're faster than me. I mean, literally. Benson has more boost token, therefore he's just faster. Ooh, he had enough boost just... Wow. Okay. He made short work of Derp on this map. I think that was the quickest game I've seen all day. I mean, it's gotta be. Went into Royale. I, this is anybody's game. I, Derp was doing very consistently on this map, but I don't think Benson's a slouch either. Oh wow, interesting. Benson actually, I think, managed to get more speed than the bottom route gives. That's very hard to do. Yeah, I mean, oh, really precise grapples. You have to basically be frame perfect I'm with uh, not sure there. or tile perfect rather. You hate to see that. Just barely not making it because he didn't have any, he didn't come, uh, hold right quite long enough. Both players uh, forgetting about the gate being closed. Uncharacteristic, really, especially at this high level. I feel like Beep had definitely performed the best on this map, just with how consistent he was at hitting the slopes constantly. Hmm. Maybe, yeah.
Oh wow. I think he got tripped. Benson again. I'm not sure what's going on there with Benson. Yeah, some very unfortunate accidents. I mean, that's SS for you. Sometimes the map can really screw you over. That's true. That's true. I mean, so Depiculus won that one. We'll take another pick from Benson now. We'll see where he goes. Factory could be where he goes. He's been uh, he's been one for picking Factory recently as well. We what have a, a festival pick. Festival, yes. This is a good map. Kind of a crazy pick, to be honest. I've not seen this the entire tournament. Festival is one of those maps where there's a lot of little things that you could that haven't really been fully flushed out yet. For instance, there's that individual block grapple that's hidden by this that door that Benson just climbed past. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys know about that, but there is indeed a random grapple there that Casper knows about. And I believe actually we requested it to stay in, so. Eventually, oh yeah, me and, uh, me and me and Edak were talking about earlier how Sintel like hits that consistently, especially during the exhibition. Say so also, some people, most people take the top route there, but I personally take the boost route on the bottom, and I've always found that that ends up being more beneficial. So there's def this is definitely one of those few maps that that's inofficial that hasn't really been fully like labbed yet. I guess is the best way to phrase it. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean by that? Like, there's definitely things that haven't been discovered yet. There's a lot of- there's that I can see, like, routes in this map that I occasionally people randomly hit, and they don't go for it ever again, but that were insanely fast. <gasps> Damn, that rocket. I see what you're saying, though. This, it is one of those maps where you just have almost limitless possibilities. It's got a lot of open space and a lot of like places where you just have to conserve your speed. It's a uh, it's one of the few maps left that I would say that really or one of the fewer new maps that Casper's added that like really encapsulates the idea of like trying to keep your speed rather than just gaining it. Yeah. I mean, you've got this section uh, that that both players just passed here. You you basically gain all the speed from the entire rest of the map from that section. Yeah, and you just keep it going, and yeah. it's. And it's never grapple spam. I think there's maybe one section where you could even consider grapple spamming. I mean, that's basically the fat wide area, but it's not even really grapple spam. I mean, whenever so, yeah. I talk to anyone, it's it's the reason that people like the officials more than the random workshop, or Ooh, vice dodge. versa, is, is basically nice. grapple spam. That was a very nice dodge from Benson, jumping over the ice beam. Uh, I'd be guessing that the box is gonna come out somewhere near here. Really? He didn't put the box on that slope. He definitely could have. I would have thought that um, Derp would have put the box on the slope to just force uh, Benson to jump early. I mean, Benson played around it anyway. You saw that he doesn't even hit the bottom of the slope. Indeed, Bows. Yeah. So I mean, maybe maybe good of Derp to keep the keep the box, try and bait Benson into doing what exactly what he did, and then placing it in a different place. Just turns out that. Derpiculus didn't quite capitalize on that and put it in a bit of a useless position. Oh, oh no way! Damn! Right on Benson's noggin, dude. So Benson actually... That may have seemed like a dumb idea for Benson to do that, but Benson was actually attempting to use the hook to block the box that he knew was coming, and it just barely didn't work. Yeah, he very says in unlucky. chat right there. Very unlucky. I was, dude, I was in Benson's mind there. I'm like, no way he would have just hit that box. There's no way. Benson. Yeah, dude, like you've so got the awkward. connection right now. You and Benson, dude. Your minds are like fused. <laughs> I can't to say, I am Benson, boys. <laughs> so wait, are you Benson Junior? All right, I'll tell you what map he's gonna pick right now. He's gonna go to Casino. Oh, Damn. cooled out. <laughs> <laughs> right, tough totally break, DM. Totally. Tough break. No. Alright, alright. You got me. I got in his mind. Both players opting to go back here to trigger the the lever. Oh, it's Pretty interesting. Pretty precise strat. Benson decides to uh, to take the take the bottom read there. I know a lot of players just like to go get the item and, and remove any possibility of 
running from behind almost. Uh, Benson opting for the opposite there, and it seems to have paid off. He's in the in the back, but still alive at least. He, had, I think he just like barely missed his third grapple on the turn on when he went back, and just, that just barely didn't give him enough height. So I think he had to do that actually. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, the the thing I would point out about that though is that um, you can you can obviously jump into the laser and get an item in return, which is what I know uh, a lot of people do. Ah, now I understand. Okay. Benson opting to never give up. <laughs> yeah. Benson definitely here to still win it. Definitely here to prove that he, or maybe just to win the money, but hopefully to prove that he can beat Derp, since this is this is a run back. Yeah, I'm sure a bit of both. <sighs> yeah, now I'm getting tired. I'm on East Coast. I, uh, I know, man. I've been yawning all day, and day, dude. You don't know what tired feels like. Ooh, that's an unfortunate mistake from Derp there. Compounded by that bomb into a grapple, yikes! There was a great hook, really, from uh, from Benson. Dead Piccolo's just not ready for it. Oh, the camera kill! Barely getting him off the top. I'd be surprised if Derp lived that. That was very close. If Derp had been maybe may, like maybe like a half a second or like faster, then he, I don't think Benson could have done that. I think he would have ended up losing the the interaction there. Yeah, I actually agree. I think that if Derpiculus was just slightly faster than what he was playing as, maybe he would have so lived. Good recognition from Benson, knowing that he definitely can kill him there, then. Mm. We should note as well that this is Benson's pick, but Derpiculus is, is leading the charge here on this map. This is facts. This is... this is... yeah. The resort is one of those maps, though, where I, I feel like I, I'm kind of surprised Benson picked it. To be real, there's not a whole lot you can do on this map. That's all that quirky. Yeah, a very good recovery though from uh, from Benson there, making sure that Depiculus couldn't get the camera kill. And it, but it just barely isn't gonna matter. Just knocked him off the back. He also actually, I think Benson might have been able to live. It looked like he hit the ground there at the very end. He did, yeah. That's a, so. That's very unfortunate. I mean, yeah. There's not, not much to quite. say about that apart from. No, uh, you hate to see it. Going to Plaza now. Another pick from Benson that's quite uh, common. Have we seen Dirt play this today? I don't remember. Potentially against me, P-Bat. All I remember is Benson being really consistent at that strat on the on the far right-hand side. Yeah, Benson nailing yeah. those strats. Oh, <laughs> Derp putting that box up there to affect both of them. But... Oh. A really Ooh. nice rocket there from Benson, but he's going to open the gate for Derpiculus oh. and gets full boost. This might be an instant win for Derp. This is definitely put himself in a, in a precarious situation. We'll see if he can get himself back out of it. He does have the pulse, which even with boost, if you're creative like that, it can still definitely help you. Oh, interesting uh, route from Derp. I, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what he just did. I mean, it looks like he was trying to bait Benson into thinking that he was going to go for the top route, and then decides like like, instead to drop grapple. Yeah, I've and, never uh, seen that. And go for the bottom instead. Very rare. Yeah. Most of the time you try and you try and like maximize your speed when you're going to that route because it has um, less of a speed payoff. Yeah. Derp is a. Uh... I feel like parading uh, Tripanozoma right now. Oh no! Oh! The 90 from I got bamboozled by that. I thought he was going for the shortcut. Oh my gosh! This guy working on a juice angles right now. What? That was more than 90. That was like 110. Like this is ridiculous. Derp is really pulling out all of the stops here. He's just going ham. This was Benson's pick, right? So yeah, that's, doesn't bode well for him. He's not. Maybe he's a little lost. Doesn't not quite sure which maps he can win on, and which ones he can. I mean, yeah, that's quite a a common feeling, I imagine, for the for the top level of players, just being like, each player is so good at all of the maps that it's hard to find one that you're definitely better at. Yeah, that, that's. 
I mean, the mental battle is probably, I think, finally rearing its ugly head. It looks like Benson's kind of slowly kind of like, you know, become less and less consistent, maybe a little bit less sharp with the item game, a little less sharp on the reactions to the items from Derp, and I think it's really showing itself in, in the score. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping Benson can shake it off, you know, maybe make a, a comeback. Yeah. I, that'd be so hyped to see from here. <laughs> I mean, it'd be crazy, <laughs> oh but I, I think in the in the same vein of conversation, it could be as well down to time zones. Benson obviously playing, and it's like half past one in, in the morning right yeah. now for Benson, versus Derp maybe playing in the in the early evening, late afternoon. <laughs> yeah, if Derp even could all possibly have a bit of an energy boost now. He might have had like lunch or something because he's had those he's had that time off. Yeah. So he may not be struggling at all. I mean that's just the that's just the perks of being in the winners bracket though, playing less matches and having more time to to relax and do all these things. Benson's been basically in matches constantly for the last two hours. It's gotta take its toll somewhere. Yeah. But even still, Benson trucking on. He's definitely still proving these. Yeah, I mean I was about to, to say credit to credit to Benson where where credit's due. Like he's clearly trying to make sure that it doesn't affect him as much as possible. That rocket almost managing to hit derp. That was so close. Yeah, I Not mean, quite a, able. a few pixels off, and that would have been, well, very unfortunate. The only way of saying it, really. So that's an interesting note, though, about Benson's route there. He purposely to goes for that item, that item route, not exclusively to get the item, but also because it makes the the rocket like fit, fiddle with the other route as well. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, that that's some high-level players, well, that in in that Benson's not only thinking about where he wants to take himself or where he wants to take the opponent, but also thinking about where he wants to take the stage hazards as well. Yeah. You also see Derp somehow living through that, that whole scenario right there. He had to dodge not one but two balls and was almost dead at the boost tunnel. Yeah, I mean, acting like the Matrix right now, Derp is like <laughs> slow-mo time. Derp is not making this easy. Yeah, Benson's really having to work for this. It might be it though. Not quite. Sudden death is encroaching. I'm not even <coughs> sure if Benson triggered that bomb. That might have just been the rocket hit exploding and exploding the bomb. Yeah, it could have oh! been. A, a good ball, ball though by backward. Benson. It's gonna take this. Maybe with full boost. Oh, not, not quite. quite, not quite. Damn. They ended up banning oh. Dirt managed to just get far enough that he got some boost. Yeah, Benson confused, out. just as confused as I am really, of, of how the Piglis managed to managed to live that, sorry. <laughs> Derp is Derp is something else, dude. His mental game must be fin like insane. Like obviously, like I, barring everything we just said, like Derp oh. still never gives up. Yeah. Even when. Did anybody see that fireball? What fireball? Wait, uh, confused. Like Derp went through the boost and shot the fireball outside the boost towards Benson, but it actually missed. Oh. oh very I swear to God, I saw that. That definitely might have happened. I didn't quite catch it. They'll catch everything on screen. Yeah. Sometimes I'm looking at the replay. Oh, that's a good idea, to be honest. I hadn't exactly thought about that. Obviously. Ooh, there it is! That's what I was talking about earlier! Benson was just in that right spacing. Derp was too close to him. The rocket immediately hits Derp right out of the boost tunnel, and he's just immediately dead. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the only thing, only thing Derp maybe could have done is deliberately slowed down, but then you're just increasing the lead for Benson. Benson really, ruined it. It's a bit of a catch-22. Do I lose or do I lose? Yeah. No good options, really, for Derp Eagles in that situation. And great recognition by Benson to, to try and use it. We got Benson in a commanding victory, even after everything that just happened. He was down, he's down 5-2 in the set, but he goes on power plant. Not a map that I would expect him to necessarily do well on. But he's just taking a commanding lead. Yeah. Maybe it's just uh, a pick that Benson made based on the fact that obviously Derpiculus and, and Benson clearly friends here and, and maybe know each other's picks. Yeah. So Perhaps Derp has been notoriously bad on power plant. Yeah, it could be. Oh, is it going to be the invert? Okay, okay. I was like, whoo, that's too spooky. It could have been. Happened. Yeah, I mean, we've seen to too many times in this set already where Derpiculus does something or Benson does something and then literally the round after the same thing happens but in reverse. 
We also see Derp taking the, the fast, opting to take the fast route that time. I think most of the time he's just dropping onto the boost there, but that specific time, it looked like he went for both slopes. Yeah. That's pretty precise too. We should mention that when you're going as fast as Depiclis and Benson, that the uh, the jump that they have to make there is pretty pretty tight. At least without slowing down, that is. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh. And a great ice by Benson, really. I think I think that was that's that's a that's an inch, that's a tough space, right? Because Benson kind of has to jump, but not really, right? So he, he could have opted to run off that, that platform and just tried to ice him if he assuming that Derp slides. Or Benson can assume that Derp is gonna jump and just go for the normal route. Yeah. And so Derp I think Derp was expecting the the runoff because that's more akin to what a lot of players on ranks would do. Mm. Benson not having any of it, he's like, nah, I'm just going for the hard read. Yeah, I mean it's it's what you have to do. <laughs> now Sorry, that I'm not it's all good. It's all good. I think we've seen seem like you have this under control. <laughs> I think we. I think we've. I think we've seen Casino in pretty much every set, like barring maybe like one. I don't know. Casino is a very popular map. Yeah, I mean, especially in these longer sets where players start running out of which ones to do. Casino is one of those ones where it it it's a bit random, but at the same time, most players are at least proficient at it. Yeah. Yeah, Derp in particular. Oh, Whoa, you think? Oh, no way! Benson managed to grapple that? And he's alive for it, too! Actually, what? Cray, I didn't quite catch that, but you're saying that, that Benson grappled Derp out of the boost tunnel? So, no, so Benson got grappled by Derp out of the boost or got grappled by Derp right before the boost tunnel, and he got rid of all of his speed. But Benson was just far enough back that he managed to hit the edge of the grapple under the boost tunnel, and that kept him in it because Derp then also messed up. Oh, what? Crazy. Very, very precise. I mean, it was incredible. Like, like that was a spot, uh, a spot decision for Benson to go for the grapple. If he doesn't hit it, then he just loses. Yeah, just insane recovery, I suppose. But he also had a little bit of boost, so there was a bit of a, like he could have boosted and hoped to go for the other grapple as well. So that was some nice recognition as well. Mm. Oh, both players going for the the item or going above the thing to get the item there. Yeah, I mean. There are items in the in the lowest route as well. It's just a case of if you take the middle route, then you're not quite going to get any of any of it. But it is slightly slightly faster, I suppose, if you or or more consistent. I mean to say. Oh, that pulse was clever, but not quite fast enough. Hmm. Both players missing. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Uncharacteristic mistakes out of all, out of both of them there. Maybe not forgetting, forgetting the box was there. I think Derp did. Yeah. And then also they both just completely missed the grapple, which is pretty much timing based. So very uncharacteristic. <laughs> so we'll see what Benson picks as a result. Going to Zoo. Interesting pick. Definitely one for the items. And neither player. Too bad we don't have the zoo in here. Yeah, I mean, are we, well, are you talking about rock candy or are you talking about uh, Deckard right now? <laughs> a, did, did they play was rock that, candy and Deckard? Deckard? Yeah, rock candy, rock candy got eliminated by Deckard four four zero. Was it on? Did, he, did they play on? Zero? Right. Yeah, they did. It was a three yeah, for did. Deckard. Oh, no. Yeah, rock candy was showing some dominance the first time he played. Yeah. Or, it just doesn't seem to matter though. Like Deckard came out of the gate swinging in that match. Right. It was crazy, crazy. But back yeah, he to put on a good show for sure. Vincent got two wins of grapple and and some boost going into this last round. And haven't even completed a full lap of Zoo yet. Yeah. Like. Oh wow, I goodness. I didn't even notice, but yeah, you're right. Two. Yes. Two damn. rounds. Holy shit. Incredibly dominant oh, right wow. now by Benson. That was yeah. That he was quite a fun do. Quite a response, not not having any of it on that first round. They just he just played more consistently on that second round. He had he had an item to mess him up with, and then same thing on the third. Very well played. Yeah, indeed. So Derp two wins away from winning. Benson four wins away from resetting the bracket. Yeah.
Oops, I spelled against wrong. I'm on my event organizer roll. I'm sad. Ocean Slide, a bit of a weird pick for, for Dapiculus. Ew. Huh. We saw that in the uh, in the Benson versus Deckard game that Benson is incredibly consistent at Ocean Slide. Uh, looks like Derp is also pretty consistent at it though, coming in at, coming in fast, taking a quick lead real quick, and then come, losing it again. But I mean, yeah. I, well, I mean, all I'm all I'm saying really is that it's going to be a tough battle. Yeah, Derp been so good on these uh, like flash like reactionary uh, invincibles here. I've never seen usage like it. Definitely has a fast trigger finger. It's it's definitely benefiting Amir a lot. Yeah. I think he's had three or four interactions now like that with the drill. Yeah, it's crazy. I I, I genuinely I'm shocked every time that that happens because it's just crazy to me that there's a reaction time that that's fast. <laughs> Which also is kind of a testament to how lucky he is about getting drills though. I think I've, he's gotten four. And I've pretty much seen Benson get zero this whole time. Yeah, I mean. Maybe he's gotten like one. That's also remember. true. But maybe it's just, just a usage. A I mean, it could be like. Dapicula is definitely cycling through items much quicker too, that's something to take into account. Yeah, definitely. Drill I always being a 1 in, one in a 100 chance, I believe. Oh my goodness, what was that rock? Oh wow. <laughs> it was dirty, that's what that was. Yeah. I Wow. I did not expect that to hit Dapicula, but then once it did, like, he was... You can't really recover from that either. I mean, yeah, he flew at such a weird angle too that there was, there was no recovering from that, even if Benson did mess up. There was... Still a significant lead for Benson, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so Edak, we're back in Resident Sleeper. How you doing, man? Say again? We're back in Resident Sleeper, dude. How you doing? Resident Sleeper? What's going on? I don't know what you mean. We're on Ocean Slide, dude. I'm about to fall asleep watching this. What do you mean, man? I'm pretty entertained. These two guys I'm are... pretty entertained right now, yeah. I don't know, man. It's just the ocean internet. slide. It's, it's just a me thing, alright? I'm sorry. All the inner items right there, you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, the like, items are fun, you see these but it's like... I don't know. No, I will, I, will, I will say that ocean slide is probably one of the most linear maps that we currently have. So it doesn't, it doesn't employ a whole lot of creativity in terms of routing. Yeah, I mean, something that Benson's actually been surprisingly good at is the, is the really, really linear maps. It's something that Depiglis might be struggling with, because... Like, on paper, you'd expect that Derp to be the, the stronger of the two players on that sort of map. Oh! Oh, damn. Direct hit. That rocket was also very well-timed, I gotta say, because that he also hit him specifically after he grappled. He could have grappled a little bit farther forward or a little bit farther back, and the, the rocket probably would have missed. Yeah. I thought, the, I thought the shortcut there might come into play, but not quite. Mm. Benson waits deliberately. Uh, I don't know whether you saw there, but... He, uh, he just stood on boost and got full boost while he was waiting for Derp to make a decision. Ooh, Derp making that turn very crisp. Yeah. And now it's 2-2. Two, two. Come back. Don't call it one. We'll see if Benson can salvage this or whether the men momentum at this point is too far in Derp's favor. Both players opting for items, but Benson's in the lead, so he's the only one that gets it. Oh no! Damn. So tough on uh, on Benson. That's got to suck. Hey. Put you in a really How? negative mindset too. How unfortunate. Going into uh, a match point for for Depiculus. Best of seven was or no, but wow, best of seven. <laughs> Benson was definitely trying to get the rocket to go up in like a in that kind of weird like arced then straight angle. Not quite working out for him though. Looking like tiredness is getting to Benson right now. Yeah, definitely. Unfortunate, yeah. to say the least, but there's nothing we can do about that. Mm. Alright, so I guess we're going random. Random, just to end it that way? Perhaps the most interesting pick you can get. This is a map we haven't played yet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, also, it's just another map. I mean, it could be that Benson was hoping to get a like power plant or something again, so he could get a quick win. 
it's definitely possible. It was clearly luck of the draw that he was banking on. I don't know whether this is a good or a bad thing, because like you said, we haven't played on this map yet, but... We'll definitely see um, some. We'll definitely see what how it ends up, how it turns out. But hopefully, Benson able to turn the tables a little bit. If not, props to Derp. But always exciting to see the comeback. So I'm rooting for it a little bit at least. Well, yeah, of course. That was a nice drill, using it to just completely avoid the boxes and also gain a lot of speed going to the next section. Yeah, you notice the drop grapple from Benson, uh, not only down on the very right hand side, but also down here as well, instead of hitting the slope, just to camera kill their pick as, as quickly as possible. So it's an interesting to note that, oh yeah, there he is. So Derp took the bottom route and Benson took the VIP route. There's actually essentially no difference in speed. Debatably, the non-VIP route can be faster. Yeah. But... It is much more precise and also requires you to be either in the lead or very close to the lead. Mm. And we see it benefiting... Uh... Wow, I can't come up with it. Derp there. Goodness. <laughs> it's getting late for you too, huh? <laughs> yeah. I can relate. I'm tired as hell. Oh, both players just barely making it into the shortcut. I was a little spooked there that that rocket might come into play. Yeah, Not I mean, quite. maybe if Derp had used it right out of the gate, then it would have followed Benson a little bit closer and maybe disrupted the play a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of a waiting game <laughs> there. Derp knowing that Benson's going to try and avoid the grapple and Benson knowing that Derp has the grapple and wanting to avoid it. Yeah. Oh my Nine goodness, games, that man. box dodge. Very, very tight. Ooh. You see Benson there with a tiny optimization on uh, on the way that he jumps in that bottom section to get into the VIP lounge. He's yeah, uh, he's jumping to keep his momentum on the on the wall climb section rather than Derpiculus jumping in and well not doing that to be frank. Yeah, so uh, that ends up benefiting you surpri a surprising amount. Just going up a little bit faster is like it, it gives you a solid lead. I mean, yeah, just uh, just look at how Benson took that round. So now we have Benson two one against Derp, or definitely his random pick so far is working out. Oh, I was hoping to see that the ball hitting the trigger to just quickly go into the shortcut. Yeah, it was basically necessary at that point. Derp got two bombs in a row. I'm pretty sure in that in that case. And, uh, and Benson was down and out if, if he didn't do something creative like that. Just right place, right time for Benson. Ooh, I was I thought Benson would use the rocket there. I wasn't sure if I wasn't sure how it would turn out, but the using our rocket there forces Derp to either quickly grapple or to hit, hopefully hit the rocket. Ooh, Benson. nicely hit by Benson, showing us he's not out of the game just yet. Fantastic execution from Benson going up that entire section without hitting any of the wall climbs and yeah. getting him that camera kill. Alright, that random pick really worked out for him. Pretty pretty random, you could say. I mean, yeah. Huh. We'll see where Derp goes now. Maybe maybe following up that pick with, uh, with another random workshop or a random official. You can pick the map as many times as you want because obviously you're not exactly picking a map when you click either of those buttons. Abyss, huh? Potentially a strategy for an for somebody who's only good at a couple maps in late game. Let's say you have, you've have you gone through all your maps, you won them, you have no, nothing else to do. Mm. Pick random. Could definitely benefit you. Yeah. Bit of an interesting strategy though. Yeah, it risky. It also could definitely hurt you. <laughs> oh. Looks like that ball was kind of hugging Derp a little bit. He bounced off of it a couple of times, it seemed. Yeah, it seems to be. And Benson getting another one. Wow. Benson having some nice dodges there, too. Avoiding his own ball as well as the um, the ball that I think Derp placed. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing an early lead for Benson, which is something that's not exactly what I expected on a on a random workshop map, especially with Derpiculus. But we got a two-point leader. We're not even halfway through the map yet. Oh my goodness. Derp has just yeah, been falling damn, apart damn. recently. Is this the ultimate comeback we've been waiting for? I mean, it could definitely, be. Definitely possible. Unfortunate mistake coming from Benson there. His grapple was a little too long. Oh, such a fast route there by Ooh. Derp. Crisp. Completely yeah. impossible to keep up there from Benson. 
that's like I think that might be the fastest route in that section. So if you're if you're not keeping up with them, then that's harsh. Yeah, I mean, you said it basically. All right, they're regaining his footing finally. It looked like he just needed to like regain his sense of I don't know sense of balance something. Definitely coming out on top again all of a sudden. Commanding two wins with boost and an item now. Well, damn. All right, this is Benson's last chance. Yeah, this is Benson's this tournament game. life right here. Ooh, not a great bomb there from Benson. We'll see how this box works out with Epiculus. Okay, okay. This Benson's got... tournament life on Grand Finals, and let me remind everyone. Grand Finals tournament life. This could be it. Okay, all right. Not a great position for Benson. He's got a grapple here. A rocket in this situation can be very devastating. Ooh. As shown, but it's not going to affect him too badly. He's going to stay alive here. Oh, tough box there. Definitely oh, takes it. Oh, unfortunate yeah. for Benson, but... Very, very unfortunate. Hats off to Derp. That man played out of his freaking mind this tournament. He was going off left and right, doing crazy strats. GG's to that guy. Yeah. GG's. 100% indeed. It's... uh. It's a case of Derpiculus just was the strongest player throughout, you know? He played Rock Candy, he played Meepoo Bat, he played Benson. He won against all of them, didn't didn't drop a set the entire time, no bracket reset.